All right, check it out. So I'm out here on a Saturday. Beautiful day. Uh, coaching some runners. Got my clipboard, my stopwatch. And the conditions are pretty good. It's, it's pretty good uh, grip on the ground. And uh, yeah, the runners are happy and I'm just coaching them through a threshold session of uh, eight times 500 meters at threshold. And uh, for the most part, they're taking their times themselves because I'm just in one end of the, of the, of the route. So they, they run down there and then they take their time with their stopwatches and then they come back and they report to me. And then I write down the times and give them some input on, on uh, how they're doing and if they're running too fast or too slow or where they won't be at. So pretty cool. I'll do this every other Saturday with a running group of uh, adults so it's not the kids on, on Wednesdays I coach the kids and the teenagers in the local club but every other Saturday I have a running group today there's just two uh, people but that's okay because that means that they're going to get extra attention and we're going to be able to dive a little deeper in terms of their exact times and all the numbers which is always fun so definitely feel like a like a coach when I'm standing here with my clipboard and I think people that pass me by they they're not really sure what I'm doing but that's okay alrighty back in the office and I thought I wanted to give you guys some tips on how to be your own coach uh, during workouts okay so uh, you just saw that intro there while I was coaching uh, a group of runners and that's a really good situation to be in as an athlete to have a coach guiding you through a workout and that it's not just that if you're a beginner you need someone to tell you what to do it's not as much about telling you what to do as it is about keeping track of the session and offering guidance and support so that the runners can focus on running and nothing else okay so let's suppose you have a track session and it's kind of um, you know kind of a busy session with maybe different lengths of repetitions and different intensities different paces the most important thing as a runner during during a workout is to execute the workout well right to get a good feeling of the workout and to get a good training stimulus from it and in order to do that you need to stay focused. You need to be able to listen to your body and dial in the right pace. If you run a little bit too fast, you might end up not really hitting it right the way you should do, maybe running a bit too hard and it becomes too hard of a session. Or if it's supposed to be a hard session, maybe you're not able to hit the right pace because you're not focused enough. This is when the coach comes in as just a really, really valuable player in terms of keeping you accountable, keeping you focused and just simply telling you what's on the plan, what to do and reminding you of those things that you need to keep in mind while running like good posture, stay on point, okay, giving you the splits maybe as you come around the turn, that sort of thing. That's what a coach does during a session. And so if you don't have a coach there yelling times, encouraging words and giving you feedback in between reps, then you got to do that job yourself, okay? And that can be a little bit challenging, of course. You'll never probably be able to do it as well as a coach would. And again, it's not that the coach necessarily knows more than you do, although in a lot of cases the coach will have more knowledge regarding how to train well and what to do and what not to do. But even if you're equal in terms of your knowledge, it's just having another person there to bounce uh, reflections off of and to give you some input on how you looked and, and, and whether or not you're hitting the pace or not, right? Take, taking the time, etc. So the two really main things that I want you to focus on when you're trying to be your own coach at the track or during a workout is the first thing is your watch, okay? Get familiar with your watch okay I have a Garmin here 630 I'm not sponsored or anything but I really like Garmin the point is you can f you can customize the screens so that they're really perfect for 
workouts, okay? Uh, are you going to hit the manual lap button? Maybe because you're at the track, right? And it's 400 meters, we know that. We don't need to rely on GPS. We can just use the manual lap button when you, when you lap uh, every time and then you'll get the actual time for the lap. Uh, or maybe if you're at a place that's not measured up, you, you, you're going to put it on auto lap. Uh, you might even program in the recovery intervals, two minutes of recovery and then three minutes hard, two minutes recovery. You can program it into your watch so your watch essentially becomes your timekeeper, your, your coach if you will. And you don't have to necessarily fiddle with it. I see a lot of runners fiddling with their watches a little bit too much during workouts. Not entirely sure how to sort of manage it. Are they going to stop it between... Um, reps are they going to use the lap button uh, what about the time is it cumulative or is it showing just the lap time that sort of thing we can do that in another video I'm gonna make a note of that but uh, your watch that's the first tip just get familiar with your watch spend some time setting it up properly for workouts you know you can have different profiles at least in this one and and then uh, use it to your advantage so you don't have to necessarily think about the pace the second thing that I want you to do in a workout when you're coaching yourself is to take a moment before you start the workout. So after you warm up and you're ready to go and you're, 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 you know, you're ready to work, take a moment, a minute or so, and just remember the purpose of the workout. Remember why you're doing this workout. Remember what you're doing and tell yourself to stick to the plan. Okay, because it's so easy to get carried away sometimes. I've, I'm definitely guilty of this in the past. You just get so carried away because you feel good during the first half of the workout, right? And you just run way faster than you were supposed to, but it just feels good and you're just like, hey, maybe my plan was wrong, right? Like maybe I don't, maybe I can run much faster than I thought I could. Well, typically what ends up happening is that the second half of the workout really sucks and you end up not really achieving the purpose of the workout, which is accumulating time at a certain intensity or a certain pace, perhaps. Stick to the plan, okay? And if, the, if, if, if after the workout you, you, you sit down and you sort of analyze the workout and you go, hmm, looks like it was a little bit wrong, the pace. I should have run a little bit faster. Well, no problem. You can come back to the track in a few, in a few days and do another workout. Because you didn't overdo it there, you're, you'll recover and you'll be fine to do another one, taking it up a notch. Again, stick to the plan there as well. Over time, you'll find what works and what doesn't and you'll see your fitness progress. Getting carried away and getting emotional during a workout, emotional in a good way, but getting emotionally invested is not a good idea. That's where the coach comes in and says, I don't care if you feel great. Uh, today this is the plan and we're gonna stick to it right and you're also more likely to stick to the plan if you got a coach because you you're held accountable right so try to be that strict with yourself okay try to be your own coach okay take a moment before the workout to ask yourself what was the plan what kind of paces am I gonna hit what are the rules that I'm gonna stick to and then stick to them and if you feel yourself during the workout sort of getting off track a little bit, no pun intended, starting to run a bit too fast or not quite hitting paces or whatever, then take a little pep talk with yourself and act almost as if you're a little crazy and you have a, a, a little t uh, second personality going on there where you're both coach and athlete. So sort of try and maybe in the break, in the recovery phase between the intervals, you might just take a moment again, a few seconds, maybe 10, 20 seconds, to just have a little bit of a conversation with yourself as a coach ask yourself you know how are we doing are we hitting paces don't worry too much about why you're not hitting paces or why you're doing what you're doing that's for later when you analyze the workout also as a sort of your own coach but during the workout just try and keep yourself accountable talk to yourself communicate with yourself and stay focused that's what I want you to do most of the time we sort of lose focus a little bit and we just sort of have fun which can be fine sometimes, but probably not during key workouts. That's where we want to be focused and, and, and do what the plan says. And then use that to inform our planning process for the future. So if it turns out it wasn't a good session, it was way too hard maybe, uh, it, were, it was over ambitious, the, the paces that we were trying to hit, or maybe they were not ambitious enough. Well, that's back to the drawing board and we'll, take, we'll, we'll fix that for the next session, right? Quickly, we will have a pretty good idea of where we're at.
And just at the end there, I just want to throw in as well one more little thing. While you're running, okay, during the intervals or during the tempo run or whatever it is, pretend again like you have that little uh, coach uh, inside your head telling you things like you're good, you're strong, light feet, you know, upright posture, relax, you know, easy speed, those sort of cues and those sort of positive encouragements. Tell them to yourself. Don't go like, fuck, fuck, this is hard. Oh my God. Well, that's sort of the athlete talking. But if you want to be your own coach, you got to also be able to turn on that coach hat while you're running and tell your athlete to relax. Do, you're doing good. You're doing well. You know, get it done. And then just do it. And of course, be able to sort of be flexible on the day too. Sometimes a coach will say, you know, you had enough. I think you're good now. It was supposed to be 10 times 400 meters, but I think 8 times 400 meters is enough for you today because I can see you're very tired and you're, you're at that sort of breaking point. Let's stop now and not overdo it. That's another thing you have to be able to do as your own coach, to be a little strict with yourself and be honest with yourself and don't take it to the very limit because we don't do that in training, we do that in racing. During training, we don't want to take it to the limit. We want to take it maybe two thirds towards the limit, right? We want to have several uh, reps or several miles in reserve when we finish the workout. So be honest with yourself and again, communicate with your inner coach. <laughs> That's all for today. Thanks for watching. If you want an actual coach to pr produce a training plan for you, perhaps, I do that. I offer customized training plans. Um, check out the link in the description. Uh, I, we can do consultations, talk about your training, uh, stuff like that. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and have an awesome day. See you around.